Okay, so I was going to uh, just give a preview of Avast 5. Um, Avast 5 is not completely working yet, so I'm just going to give more of a preview video because I can't test it against real malware because some of the shields are disabled. So I have Avast installed here. This is the preview of their free version. Um, so, if I look at the file properties, they come up. It's 28.7 megabytes installer. And so it has this, they've changed, even though I have the wallpaper of their old version. Um, but, so this is their icon, it's an orange icon t this time, and their interface is totally different. So, it's a really nice interface, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can take a look at your settings, you can take a look at your details if you expand the menu. You can see what's on, you can see what version of definitions you have. You can look at some statistics of detected, detected files for the file system shield. If I want to look at my web shield, I can look at my web shield. And if I look here and scan, I can see I detected two items, which was ICAR. Um, I can look at my peer-to-peer -peer shield, my mail shield, and it'll tell me all that information. I can look at the news, which isn't loading anything, um, and then community, if I wanted to look at uh, community content for Avast. And then the scan computer menu is pretty straightforward. You can do a quick scan. Just hit play, and it'll run the scan. It t tells you how many megabytes a second it performs. Right now it seems to have a pretty good speed. And then, what I hate is if you want to stop a scan, and it takes forever to stop, but with this I just hit stop, and it's done. No virus, no virus found. I can look at my scan settings. Um, I can recognize files by their content or by their name. Name extension. I would probably pick content just to be safer. You can choose the scan areas. You can change your comments. You can do a full system scan, a removal, removable media scan, or you can select a folder to scan. Or you can do a custom scan. You can schedule a boot time scan. Um, just do full screen. Their interface works on just about any screen size because it will resize its interface depending on your screen. Um, you can change how many, how much heuristics you want on your scans, and then you can view your scan logs. So you can see I, I performed a scan here, and it will show me how many files, and then I can view the log. It didn't have anything in the log. Eh. Whoops. Then it has the real-time shields, and so this is the file system shield to detect things on the um, file system, and it'll show me what the last file scanned was, and it'll show me the files scanned and infected files. I can do expert settings, take a look at what, it, what I want it to scan, um, Scan when open, scan when writing, scan when attaching, exclusions, advanced, actions, packers. I checked off all packers.
because I want it to scan everything so I don't extract anything that I don't want it to. Sensitivity you can put all the way up or all the way down if you want. And you can report a file. It has a mail shield. I'm not completely sure, but if this is going to be their free antivirus, then they've included a mail shield in their free antivirus and a web shield, which is never heard of for free antiviruses. A peer to peer shield, an I'm shield, a network shield, and a behavior shield. For scanning behaviors um, so if this is going to be a free version this is going to be probably the most complete free antivirus I've seen and then you can look at maintenance so you can take a look at your updates you can update the program doesn't need to open a new pop-up window Just starts updating and while it's updating I can take a look at my other things so in my virus chest I have it shows me where it came from what it is and tells me what it is if I scan over scroll over I can see my events log for scans or I can do real-time shields And then you can look at about Avast just to see what components it uses. So it seems like a really great product. Um, and I'll probably test it soon when they get their their shields and everything working in order and everything. And uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna put this up now. Probably next week I'll be able to test this against some actual links. And you see how it resizes when I change my screen size.